it's an NYPD dog. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, I have to say, um, and I say it, say it because of all, you were amazing the whole weekend. And I want to thank you for being such a nice Thank you. You guys are amazing too. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got anything stolen from them, right? Oh, yeah. Someone got their heart stolen. Wouldn't it would be cool if we like if some kind of romance happened from this convention? Like, oh, someone like ten years from now, we met at the twelfth precinct convention. <laughs> Love at first autograph signing. And uh, my question goes to all. If there is one episode you could change from every point, is there one and what would you do? This is for everyone? Yeah, for everyone. Um, I'd let Beckett fall. I just, oh, I'd be like, oh! I was so close to grabbing her. Oh, damn it, it's always a good one to die on television shows. <laughs> how, do you, how do you walk that one back? Wow. How do you walk? I'm sorry, was I sharing too much? I, I think I would change the uh, wedding episode. <laughs> I would change the wedding episode, I would make sure that uh, Gates, Ryan, and Espo were there. And that it wasn't on uh, well, the moon. That it, that it wasn't, wasn't on the, that the, background the, the, in the cloud the city of Star Wars. Uh, I would have yeah, made that, that, that wedding kind of came out of nowhere. It would, I, would have, I think the wedding episode should have been a much bigger, I mean, something that the audience was rooting for for many, many, many years. And it should have been like, la la da da! Big like song as Beck is walking down the thing with her dress. <laughs> Standing there with a sideways grin. That's <laughs> Paul and Ryan, Jenny and Gates standing there in attendance right in the front like. That's Paul leans to Ryan. She could have been the one. <laughs> I think that's how the wedding episode should have been. episode is gonna be. Why didn't we have a wedding the kiss? The tux, the dress, all of that. Yeah. So sad. What could have been? <laughs> now it has to kiss. Now you has to kiss. Who's do you has to kiss? I can has to kiss you. Like it's our wedding, like it's Ryan and Jenny's wedding. Yeah. Oh my god, alright. Oh, wait, wait, uh, you have to be the officiator. Make <laughs> a big deal. Of this, aren't we? Okay. Right. We're role playing. Alright. In my mind, uh, Ryan and Jenny's wedding took place. I should say I play something. You like a Baptist preacher? Yeah, it took yeah, place yeah, in a Baptist church. church. Good, good. It took place in an old Southern Baptist church. <laughs> Raise 
that damn it, by the power and vested up in me, you may now kiss your bride. That was that that what that's what the what, Brian that's what you guys Jenny, missed. That's what you missed. We, that's what you missed. We, we filmed that and we filmed that. it just didn't make it. I don't know why. Thank you, thank but, uh, you. Ah, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Found yourself a glass. Salud. Somebody has Salud. Salud. Thank you for the amazing answer. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Is that a good answer? <laughs> yeah. I think we covered it. We covered it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, next question. Wait, I just need to ask you why Molly is on your hip. Why is Molly attached to your this hip? This is like... That's like a Molly hematoma, like attached to your hip. That's really weird. My right hip is named Molly Quinn. Because when I have she on my face, I can't see anything. Oh, of course. You gotta cut holes in that face. That's what I do with Molly's masks that I make. I walk around, I'm Molly Quinn. I think I'm so smart. <laughs> how she sounds in real life. It's creaky. Uh, creaky the whole voice like that. that she does on the show is, is a put on. <laughs> I'm Molly. I live under a bridge. No, I think you do John way better than I'm you do Molly. Troll. No, that's my Molly impression. That's, I'm, really, I'm really trying here. <laughs> do I not sound like Molly? All right. No, you don't. Okay, no, sorry. No. Sorry, we're so distracted by sorry. Molly's face. That's how she sounds okay. to me, everybody. It's I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> question. What is your question? Yes. First, I want to thank you that you're here and it was amazing for me because I don't have the money to fly to the U.S. and yeah, thank you so much. And uh, my question is, how do you like the this weekend that convention? How do we like you guys or the convention? Or the <laughs> Conventions um, for sci-fi. This is, of course, um, no. This is my second or third castle convention. Um, I I just love meeting all of you, and I hope the next time we we meet you, we do a convention again. There's just only one thing I would add. I think we need to be in a room together, dancing or doing something that's so crazy fun that we will never ever forget it. So I hope we we can dance. Uh, I've had a great time this weekend with all of you. You guys um, have been a joy. You've been really good sports. You've played along with uh, all of my antics. Um, thank you so much for, uh, you've not only entertained me, but uh, hopefully you've entertained yourselves. This what being up here is about uh, us just having a great time uh, together in this room and in the other rooms too. Um, so I'm really happy that we all got to be brought together and I, and I commend the um, always team for bringing us all together and, and doing such a great job. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard work putting something like this on. So for the first one ever, I think they did a good job. I think I'm really excited for the next one. Uh, I'd like to uh, echo John's statements. Thank you for being nice to my friend John. <laughs> Putting up with him all weekend. Um, I want to I give a shout out to all, the, to all the, the Castle fan dudes out there, all the men. I know you're a minority, but I feel it's awesome that you guys came out and supported. Felix, Felix well. Gloria, like you guys are great. All yeah. of you guys that we've met. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. I know I know we're in the minority of us dudes, but uh, we appreciate you. Because oh, it's so guys. tough to be in a room of a hundred people. I know, it's women. awful. It's oh. awful, isn't it? So it's just terrible being surrounded by women. So pretty. <laughs> so pretty. I see if pretty I'm looking out. Oh uh, no, thank you everybody. We've, we've had a wonderful time this weekend. You guys have been wonderful hosts. Um, you guys have treated us very well. Um, I, I, as I said earlier in my panel, I said, I think the great thing about Castle is that I never thought I'd be on a show that had such a European influence um, because it really bridges cultures um, in a show. And that's crazy. You know, this little show that we do in Los Angeles is seen throughout the world and you guys love it. 
and and we get to meet you because of this thing. So I think it's pretty cool. It makes the world a little bit of a smaller place, and I take that. So thank you guys. And my champagne's empty. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh dear. He starts talking the more he moves. <laughs> even, even more. See? No, no, that's what I mean, yeah. It's Why like talking juice. juice. I get it, Seamus. You don't want to drink alone. I always got my partner's back. <laughs> Did we answer your question? Juliana. No, you have a team. Every Come single, on. we all have to, okay. I mean, really, what is there to add, honestly? You know, I mean, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. I mean, we meet all of you. At least we get to kind of read some of you on Twitter, and I think that's really great, but to meet you in person is like, you put like real people to all of these sentiments and, and people from all over Europe and South America as well, but that'll be another time. But yeah, just, it's been a fantastic experience. And I hope you guys have made some friends. And yeah, because how great is that? Like, Castle fans have each other's back, and that's amazing. So thank you guys. Thanks for having us. And I'm awesome. Someone asked me this in, in my individual group session earlier about tweets. This is something I want to clear up now. Um, someone asked me if I read all my tweets, and my answer is yes. I read everything that you write to me. Do you guys? I mean, you might not. It's okay. No you judgment. don't always have the chance, but most of the time. Well, most of the time I read all my tweets. So you think you're getting something and I don't respond back, or Wait John doesn't respond back. Doesn't mean you didn't see it. You said you read all your tweets. Yes. Then you said most of the time I kind of like read all my tweets. <laughs> So let's tell them, do you read all I read all my tweets. I read all my tweets. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell because it refreshes on Sony. You're like, oh crap, where was I? But it's yeah. been a couple hours. So I try to read everything that's there. So, um, yes. That's, as, as, as in my, to my knowledge, okay. all the tweets that have come my way, I have read them. Although I think okay, sometimes you don't see them. There are no unknown knowns in the tweet world. Algorithms. In the world that they might yeah. be disappearing somewhere. Anyway, I just wanted to say this to you. It's been twisted into some perverted thing now, but I I I, get it. I read your stuff just because I don't respond doesn't mean I'm not paying attention. Um, and you guys might feel the same way that that we do hear your voices just because we don't respond to everything. Um, we do hear what you're saying in your comments about the show, and we do appreciate them as well. So that's what I was trying to say. Well said. Well said. Was it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, could I give Seamus and Juliana my gifts now because I don't have autographs and I couldn't find you guys. Bring it, what do you got? Molly. What do you got? Oh, <laughs> Only if you're wearing Molly's Molly. face when you do it. No, no, you gotta put on Molly's, Molly's mask. mask. Put on the Molly's mask. <laughs> that way it's not really coming from you, it's coming from Molly. <laughs> <laughs> For security reasons, we have to. And we're like, Molly, this was really weird. You just showed up in Dresden. Have to take I thought you were in like New Zealand or something. This is weird. Oh jeez, gonna take a roll of your See, you do have eyes cut for holes. Yes, there you go. You can see. Screw. What did you tie it on to? There you go. All right. Okay. Now we can accept. Everybody, can accept get your cameras ready and tweet about this. Please, tweet about this. My name is Molly Quinn. You can say it to me. Look at this crazy chick. She waves just like Molly. Oh, she's going up so quickly. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah, Dr. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank it's very, you very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Molly Quinn, ladies and gentlemen. Molly Quinn. Uh, Speaking of cast members who aren't here today, I was wondering if one of you four people would be kind enough uh, to remember and pass on a message along to Susan Sullivan, who isn't on social media, and uh, I don't know if other people agree, but I love her on the show, I think she yeah. doing so much.
she brings so much class, style, grace. Not that you guys don't do an absolutely fantastic job and don't bring your own style and grace and pizzazz and, and everything to every episode, but I would just hope that one of you is uh, kind enough to remember and pass along the message how much we love Susan Sutherland, how much we love her being part of the Castle cast, and how much we hope to see more of her in the future, uh, in, in future episodes. We will tell her. Thank you very much. She, she almost made it. Susan and I had a conversation and she actually asked me uh, to let you know that she actually wanted to be here. Uh, she is not on social media, uh, but uh, she does send her love. She was really quite excited about meeting you. And uh, oftentimes you guys do tweet to me to ask Susan, and I directly ask Susan and give her uh, your comments or whatever. So she is well aware and she is so appreciative. So uh, I will mind her again, but you've been heard. Thank you, Sonora Love Hi. It's my last question for the day, so. Right. <laughs> I promise. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. I personally met a lot of people all over the world that I've been visiting as well, so the show brings some people together for sure. My question is, for each of you, um, if you were stranded on a deserted island, which three items would you take? <laughs> items or characters? Huh? Items. Items. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, see, that's a whole different thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go last. <laughs> I'll, go first. Yeah. I'll go first. I would take a microphone. This audience <laughs> and this chair. What's this deflection going on over here? <laughs> I gotcha. All right. I already bring sunscreen, big time, and then I'd have to have my dogs. Are they items? They're, it's okay, right? It works. Yeah. And then I have to bring Shane <laughs> Um, I would bring uh, the Beatles' White Album. Um, because that's what you're supposed to do when they say Desert Island, right? You go, you go, okay, my favorite album. This is one of the only thing I can listen to the rest of my life. Um, tie between that and, like, Dark Side of the Moon. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I'd bring a pizza joint. I can do that, right? It wasn't say like, like I can bring an entire, I can bring my, my favorite pizza joint, my favorite pizza restaurant to the island. It's a thing. It's a, one of the three things. It's a big thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. Um, and I'd bring my wife and we would be sustained in, in pizza world. And pizza island. And then we would just I'd look. Name it pizza island. Would we just look at the record or would we play it? Undoubtedly, there'd be could you a bring PA it? system within the pizza joint. You could make it out of coconuts. I could, just like the you're professor. you're really resourceful. Like, you just could like make the professor. Stuff. You know, we, yeah. We'd have to start over again, like we're always talking about. <laughs> on these Starting items. that new civilization. Well, I have questions going on this, this panel today. But um, yes, I'd figure out how to make like a, like a, a CD player out of some coconuts. A CD? Oh, wow, you're so old school. A CD player. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be amazing, but it'll happen. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Three things. Flashlight, my Bible, and a gun. <laughs> I'll be able to see in the dark. I'll be able to believe that I'll be saved. And I can kill anything that I want. <laughs> No one said Tampan. <laughs> Tampan, no Tampan on the island. No, I don't have my senses about me. No, we'll know how to ferment right. things and make. Nobody wants warm champagne. 
Don't you figure out how to make a right? refrigeration system. Out of coconuts. Out of coconuts. On Dali. <laughs> what kind of technology is progressive? Um, next question. Do you have a question? If you let us keep drinking up here, it is going to go downhill so bad. <laughs> I almost did that in the scene before. He just cracked me up so much. It comes out through the nose. It burns when that happens. Sorry I'm about so that. sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's so funny. So sorry. You better get that question in quick. Uh, who would you like to see as guest star on Castle Season 8? I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> I think we've always wanted Christopher Walken on the show. Um, we haven't had any progress in that department. I don't know, John. I don't know. Is that is that something where it's gonna happen? We've been talking about it for a while, but they can ask him. But we'll see if he says yes or no. Um, maybe William Shatner, maybe him. Yeah, uh, or maybe uh, Evangeline Lilly from Lost. <laughs> Somebody needs a little love interest. Okay. He's great on Lord of the Rings, like the Hobbit, so, the red hair, the elfness. That's if Penny's on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Some girl. I'm your girl. What's up, girl? You got a question, girl? Yeah, she bribed me at Give the end of our you. autograph oh. session, so we have to watch out for her. I have this guilt complex that I'm going to be on the train. I'll be looking for little four-year-old girls. <laughs> An eight-month boy. Oh, okay. My question goes to John. <laughs> How you meet um, Seamus? <laughs> Wait, how, how did I meet Seamus? How you meet Seamus the first time? I think it was like, what was, what, it what like? was it like the first time I met Seamus? Yeah. Not like we were working together. And so, that's how we met. But, yeah. <laughs> the first time I met him, I think, was it, was it in wardrobe or was it. I don't remember. Oh. I remember the, the emotion and the feeling. I don't remember the physical. <laughs> True. First time we met, so I was actually anticipating meeting him because he didn't get to shoot the pilot with us uh, originally, but he was um, added to the cast, and they told me about him, and uh, they said it was about my height, which I was happy about. <laughs> uh, but about a half inch taller, so that he was superior. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want that. somebody like super tall, because I'd be looking up at him, Castle, and Becca when she's wearing her nine inch heels. Yes. Um, <laughs> So uh, I, was, I was looking forward to meeting him, and I, and I read his name on the call sheet, uh, and his name uh, is Seamus, but me being a little unfamiliar with how you spell Irish names, uh, I saw it, it looked like Seamus. <laughs> so I, I think that's safe. And he said, and he said uh, hi, I'm Seamus. I was like, oh, I'm looking for my, the guy playing my partner. I'm looking for the I'm looking for Seamus. Seamus. No, I don't, you don't look like that. You spell it Seamus. Spell it with the S E A. It's Seamus. It's just spelled that way. Uh, but uh, I, I remember, you know, him being very enthusiastic and ready to get to work, and uh, he really wanted to um, fit in. And I remember all the producers, not producers, but like the director of the episode, Nathan. You know they. They kind of named, like, made him the new guy. And they, they, they kept, you know, kind of bugging him and, been, you know, kind of making fun of him a little bit. Because he's the new guy. Oh, look at the new guy. And I tried not to participate in that. Uh, it's hard not to, but I tried not to. And, and uh, just say, hey, man, come on, let's, let's figure this stuff out. Let's, let's, let's have fun. Let's. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was such a great day. <laughs> We were in the Clinton building, outside of in the old the old office building. So you see, it was Rob Bowman's. It was outside of Rob Bowman's office. Remember? And we had a meeting. We came in there. That's right. And we both had um, bruised uh, thumb nails. 
from slamming our fingers with uh, fingers with hammers. Oh, because yeah. we were both like doing stuff. So we're like, like, yeah, what have you been doing? Oh yeah, I installed a floor. Oh yeah, cool man. What'd you get? Oh, dude. So we just started telling talking stories about carpentry. That was the first moment we kind of modeled. Was like, all right, all right, cool. Yeah, that's a nice. That's a nice bruise. Cool. Hammer. Cool. cool. Nice bruise. bruise. <laughs> that was really the first one. I was like, yo, man, you got this guy's all right. He swings a hammer. He's you cool. Two, <laughs> yeah, I got that, man. I got one of them. What about the tape measures? Oh, oh yeah, I got like four of them, man. <laughs> I got one that's delineated in fractions. What about a square? Do you have a speed square? Oh, I got three squares. I got a speed square. I got the carpenter square. And I got the long oh, architect square, brother. <laughs> no, I, I swing with a hammer, it's an S-wing, I don't know about your hammer. That's what it was like when we first met. And that's why our days go from 9 hours to 16. Nah, that's not. That's not. <laughs> no, we have a good time together and uh, I think it was sort of like, ah, oh, cool, this guy's alright. Um, John's always, you know, it, it's funny because like, I don't know if when we were younger we would have been friends. We might have been. Who knows? I don't know. But we're, we're very different, but we complement each other in an interesting way that I've never had with any other friend. Most of my friends, I'm like a lot alike. Um, and John and I are, are, we mesh together. Like we kind of fill in the gaps with each other. Like he's, he does stuff that I don't I do well. I read this fan fiction. 